Hi, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. So we're going to talk about the firm. Do we know who the firm is? So apparently this is the the group of folks, the organization, the structure that kind of runs the royal palace, that kind of tells royalty what to do. And um, it looks like um, that uh, the firm has a reckoning to uh, deal with. So. so it seems like there's somebody to tell everybody what to do, even royals. And uh, apparently these folks have just uh, turned over the, de the decisions of everyday life to, um, the, to, to people who are not royal, who make decisions for them, who suggest to them what they should do, and probably behind the scenes orchestrate what is going to happen. And we all find these people in, in jobs uh, that we have. And uh, it's no different than the political um, uh, game playing that you find in any uh, work environment. Unfortunately, uh, the consequences of what the firm decides uh, reach pretty far. And for this reading, we're going to use the Spellcaster's Tarot. Um, this is one of the first decks uh, I got, and I, I really love it a lot. It has a wonderful uh, art in there. The um, little booklet that comes with it is beautifully illustrated, and it's, it looks exactly like the cards, as a matter of fact and nice suggestions as to uh, how you can interpret those cards, which means a lot. I mean, after all, someone uh, sat down with their uh, brain uh, working and uh, looked at uh, what they had to accomplish and said, for this image, uh, this is what I'm going to use. And uh, why is that important? Because we're talking about artists. And artists are creative people, open their mind up to, um, to their uh, intuitions, actually. So I think when you're looking at some really beautiful art, you have to keep in mind that it's not just a hap happenstance. You know, it's not something that just uh, someone threw up on a on a page. It's actually, you know, their 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 intention that went into that. It's their thought. It's uh, their corrections. It's um, everything that we all do uh, every day in our lives. We're all artists uh, of our own uh, destiny. And so when we look at uh, cards like this, you can't help but think that if it was your job, if it was your task, let's say you're just a, a regular artist uh, who maybe uh, paints uh, um, still life, or you paint people, or you paint landscapes, uh, whatever it is, uh, when you look at that, you're giving it an interpretation, and uh, you're putting it down on, on that paper, and you're not uh, done with it until it pleases you. And what is it that tells you that it's time to go ahead and move on and leave it where it is and say that this is complete? It's your intuition. It's your judgment. And uh, what are we talking about with these cards? We're talking about intuition. We're talking about judgment. And the what they have in common is the common goal uh, of the uh, written interpretations that the various artists are trying to um, illustrate. So for the firm, now if you're not completely sure, the firm is how the royals refer to the structure that runs uh, their life, not only their personal lives, but also their public lives. So, and we learned that from the interview that we saw uh, with uh, Harry and Meghan. So six cards off the top, then we're going to leave four for the end of the reading. We're going to take them out and, um, and finish off everything that we're dealing with today. I wonder how this will come out, the firm. I guess we'll see. So here we go. Signifier card for the firm that runs the British royal family. So this is the five of wands. And this really looks appropriate. Can you see what's going on here? These people, um, most of them are blindfolded and they're swatting at this nest of hornets and uh, almost gonna knock each other out with abandon. And there's just one person to the side here that seems to have their eye on the prize and uh, they're, they're holding onto their wand. So maybe there's someone in that firm who, who is really paying attention to what's going on, but with all the chaos, they're just standing back with a smile on their face and saying, well, what can I do? Let's hope that that person can help influence what happens with the firm. The challenge to the firm then is the Eight of Wands. And exactly what this uh, organization does is deal with all of the issue, all the motion, all the fire, all of what's happening to that uh, to those royals. And, um, and then they soar off and hopefully 
help them make uh, the correct judgments. So that's a challenge to all this uh, RG bargy, like my friend uh, Lena Rodriguez from uh, Tarot Down Under would say, is, um, is uh, all the challenges that they face. And you know, you have to give it to them. If you're in charge of that organization, that's a tremendous responsibility. So here we go. The base of this reading for the firm is, wow, the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is really being um, pulled back, uh, restricted, uh, not uh, being able to move without really considering where you're going to move. And in an environment of a dark, uh, foreboding forest, this person if this is the firm, if this represents the firm, is really struggling to find their way through. And it's funny because it's so clear they just have to stand up straight like this person, squeeze through, and they can turn around and make a judgment about what they're doing. But they're in the middle of it, and, uh, and they're trying to figure out how to go forward. Probably originally put in place with all the best intentions. But the recent past for the firm, then, is the King of Wands. Who is the King of Wands? And has anybody else noticed that this reading is just chock full of wands, which are issues uh, and, and to be dealt with? So this, the King of Wands is the master of, of his suite. All right, he has a firm grip on what's coming through. So I'm going to say this King of Wands in the past has to be maybe the intention of, of what this uh, firm was meant for. And if you can see right here, there's a tiny little bird, and we always use that phrase, a little birdie told me. And it looks like this King of Wands is, is just sitting here and maybe not acknowledging, but hearing what that little birdie has to say to it. Up in the sky for the firm is the Three of Pentacles. And this Three of Pentacles is really trying to show these folks you know, how we're going to move forward. What is this pinnacle all about? I want you to pay attention. I want you to use your crystals to, to help you focus on what we're going to do with these three pinnacles. And off to the side, we see a little squirrel with a nut. Again, kind of bringing in some fruit, some, some, something new to help influence these folks through their decision. And um, so there we go. This is what's in the sky for the firm. Now, in the hopes, uh, I'm sorry, in the potential outcome for this first part, which is like a uh, a thirty thousand dollar, a thirty thousand uh, mile look down on this situation, is huh, the hanged man. So, you know, if you're gonna, if you have to make all these decisions, then you're going to have to stand back and look at what you're dealing with. And look, you can see the writing is literally on the wall for this firm, and. Um, it's it, this this card has this hangman uh, balanced somewhere between dark and light, between night and day, and really bound up in this cage and not able to make an easy move. So that's the task of the firm. The self right now. What's going on right now in that in that organization? Not the royal family, not the royals, not the British government, but in the the people who direct the uh, movements of this very important um, uh, dynasty. That's going to be death. And death is very interesting that this shows uh, what the firm is because death isn't death. Death is like the end, a hard stop. And once it's over, you're going to have something new come out of it. It's going to bring forth a, 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 a rebirth. And uh, so the self of the firm right now is I think it's suffering a slow and painful uh, death. The environment that the firm is in, however, is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands, again, that little bird keeps making an appearance uh, in this reading, whispering to, to this fellow who's, who's tied to these plans. He has to make some decisions, and there's, there's no other, nothing else they can do. He's sitting down on the remains of what they've chopped down before them and trying to determine how he's going to move forward into this bright future. And the fact that there is a bright future is very encouraging, I think. So that's uh, the environment of death. Now, the hopes and the fears for this organization is the high priestess. And the high priestess talked to us of, of using all of your, uh, of your knowledge. Uh, you, you've got the, the book of, of uh, I'm going to say the book of Toth, to give you some, some guidance into what you're going through here. It's presumably everything that's in this book of knowledge is useful 
and it's going to bring forth almost a rebirth of of what happens with this with this firm and you know this card also gives us a little uh, a little uh, okay to to go with our intuition and we know if something's not working something has to change that's just that's just common sense but then the final outcome for this firm is a seven of wands and I've got to say this seven of wands and this little bird has matured this little bird who's been giving advice all throughout this reading seems to have come to some maturity and looking to the future just like this seven of, of wands is looking to the future and I've got to tell you I haven't seen a, 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 a reading so heavy in wands in quite a long time but this fella he's conquered these wands he's got them stacked up they're under his control and he's he's firmly in charge of this fruitful uh, wand. Look at that. It's sprouting. It's getting ready to grow. He's confidently looking up to the future. This is a strong, a strong, uh, maybe there's going to be one person that comes out of this, that comes out of this firm with the idea uh, of how we're going to move forward or they're going to move forward. So it looks to me like the firm is in the middle or, or is about to begin a reimagining, which means that it has to end and has to start over and it has to go forward with conviction. You know, I have to say I'm very comfortable with this reading for the firm. It seems to me that it's it's said everything that's obvious that has to happen. When you've got a machine that's running your life that's not working, you need to stop that machine, retool it, maybe put in some new parts, and get going again. And uh, I think that's exactly what's going to happen with this firm. I think they're going to look at their intuition and they're going to say, look, it's obvious that something has to change. We've got who we need and this person right here who's who's not engaging in the idiocy of swatting at a hornet's nest while you're blindfolded. He's just observing everything that's going on and then um, with with guidance moving forward. And the, you know, the Three of Pentacles is, is also, I, I failed to mention, working together towards a common goal. And so that the final outcome is going to be, yeah, let's, let's, let's master these issues and let's take what we've got that's very fruitful and with the advice that we've, we've been listening to all along and move forward into the future. It's a bright future to me and I really love it. So I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. I hope you've enjoyed coming along. Come along tomorrow. I'll be right here and uh, ciao for now.